Hey, Elise Pickett here with The Urban Harvest, and today I am going to show you my new green stock tower garden, which is a container garden that is soil-based, which I've been growing in and absolutely love. I've been looking for a container garden or a vertical garden system that can help meet my small garden clients' needs. I do a lot of consulting and I also have a seed club where I do a lot of large gardens and small gardens. But up until this point, I hadn't really found a container garden method that I was happy with. I'm a little picky when it comes to the sustainability aspect of things. I'm not a huge fan of hydroponic systems just because there's that constant input. There's a lot of maintenance. I, I wanted a soil-based system uh, and I found a green stock uh, container garden, uh, green stock vertical container garden, and I wanted to give them a try. So we've got this tower here that I got from them and I decided to try to make it as comparable as possible to my raised bed garden beds, which I uh, grow most of my crops in. So I decided to direct sow or uh, directly plant all of my seed into the container so that it was literally apples to apples between my raised bed gardens and my container gardens. And I seeded this at the end of January. Uh, don't remember exactly when. And it is now um, the end of March. So within um, three months time uh, from seed to plants. I've been harvesting now for several weeks off of this planter and I am very, very happy with the results. So this vertical garden system had a few things that I really loved. One, it had the soil depth that I was looking for. When you plant larger crops, absolute bare minimum is eight inches that your raised bed should be, ideally maybe 10 or 12. These containers are 10 inches deep, uh, so it gives it enough soil depth for the roots to actually get established. You're not gonna have anything toppling out or toppling over, and it gives them access to all of the nutrients and water and everything that they need. Um, so it's a nice depth on the container. It also has a watering reservoir which was new to me when I tried out the green stock vertical garden. One of their claims to fame, uh, besides being you know U.S. made and manufactured and um, family run company, was that they have a unique watering system. So you fill this top reservoir here and their drainage system, which functions down through the middle, actually gives the same amount of water to each tier rather than a ton of water up top, which slowly dissipates in the middle and towards the bottom, you have very inconsistent watering, if any at all, by the time it reaches down there. So with their system, it actually drains all the way through and gives equal and adequate amounts of water to each tier, which is really neat. The other thing that they have and is optional is the casters on the bottom so that you can rotate it with light. I knew that would be something that's important um, so I did get that and it allows you to easily spin the container so that you can get light the whole way around. Basically what I've been doing uh, over the past couple of months as these grew in was every time I watered, maybe every other time, I would just give it a little spin, nothing like super scientific or precise. Um, sometimes I'd forget or not have time and sometimes I'd do the whole thing and a little quarter turn, but it was just enough to give them adequate light depending on hot afternoon sun, morning light, that kind of thing. Uh, so I do have the casters on the bottom and I found that to be very um, important with this container system. I'm happy with this one and this is their original five tier uh, garden tower. They have a new leaf tower, which is slightly shallower depth, but it gives you seven tiers as opposed to five. So I wanted to give that a try. I primarily grow leafy greens anyhow, and I really wanted to maximize the space and give it a shot, see if the shallower depth worked well. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, got a leaf as well. 
Um, I checked with the uh, manufacturers and you can alternate and stack the two together if you wanted so that you could have some deeper rooted crops in with the shallower crops. But because I already have everything planted, I'm going to leave this one as is for now, probably in the end of summer. So like um, over the summer months, I'll replant for fall and I'll kind of mix and match and um, give it the different soil depth so I can have different things growing in different um towers and mix it up a little bit um, but for now I am going to get our leaf green stock built. So this planter when I did the original green stock is really easy to assemble. I'm a little far along in the pregnancy though so I'm gonna have my husband assemble this one for me um, but uh, basically the scenario is you lay out all of your tiers, you fill them with your potting soil I use Fox Farm potting soil. That also happens to be what Greenstock recommends. I think they might recommend one other brand. I've recommended them for a while. They're a really high quality soil. They are not cheap. I will be completely frank with you on that one. But when you're working with containers, they can't have as an extensive of a root system and you don't have to add any of the amendments. So if you're only doing uh, a green stock or uh, pots or containers, the Fox Farm can be worth it because you don't have to get to go buy bulk amendments to fix the soil up and everything. Uh, it is a little pricey on the soil, but it's worth it in my opinion. So my husband got all of them filled and now we get to plant. Uh, I am going to try out using starts this time since I seeded the entire original with seeds only. Uh, so this time I went ahead and planned for it. I have a bunch of starts, uh, mostly leafy greens started, um, collards and lettuce and um, some of the Asian greens, um, chard. I'm also going to be doing a couple of larger plants. So the leaf is best for those shallow rooted, like leafy greens and herbs and that kind of thing. But they do say that you can also plant in things like cucumbers. Um, so I'm going to give that a try as well, just to experiment and play around with it a little bit. Uh, so I will be planting those uh, in addition to the leafy greens in these containers now. So after you fill with soil, you would put in your plant starts or your seeds, and then you stack the tower up and get it all set up. So when you're planting with starts and with seeds, you would just thin down to it once things pop up if you're using seeds. Um, the anything that's larger, so things like Swiss chard or collard greens, a little bit of a larger leafy green, you would plant one per pocket. If it's a smaller green like lettuce, you can plant two or three per pocket. So step number one was filling with soil, putting in the plants. I will say now that I've tried starting from all seed in the original and starts in the leaf, uh, I thought the starts would be a lot easier. Uh, but trying to nestle them in and then give yourself enough room to stack them uh, wasn't the easiest. So I would say seeds would probably be just as easy as starts, just depending on what works best for you and um, how you usually start your plants. But um, it wasn't easier like I was anticipating. It was probably about the same. With the seeds, you do have to mist the soil a little bit in the beginning until you get the roots from... Um, the plants into the soil enough to get access to the water that comes through the reservoir. So um, the maintenance aspect of the seeds was probably a little bit more. And then the planting of the starts was a little bit more cumbersome in the beginning. You know, with starts, you always get that rapid growth, which is always exciting and fun to see. So um, now that we have these filled with soil and planted, we are assembling and stacking. So we have the watering system in place. They simply just set right on top, um, really easy to do. And now it's time to stack. And there we have it. It's planted, put together. Now all you gotta do is water it and watch your plants grow. Um, I have been very pleased so far with the progress from the original. I'm excited to see how the leafy, uh, the leaf stock does as well. Um, I did decide to become an affiliate with Greenstock Vertical Garden. So if you guys are interested in growing your plants using this system, 
head on down below. I will have an affiliate link that you can use for $10 off your purchase of the Greenstock Vertical Gardens. And I hope that you enjoy growing in them as much as I have. I will be doing some update videos on different tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So stay tuned for that. And if you found this information on vertical gardening helpful, or you want to learn more about raised bed gardening or vegetable gardening here in Florida in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, click the little bell next to it so you're alerted every time a new video comes out on vegetable gardening in Florida.